Traffic Dock 2 is used to configure a census network's wireless vehicle detection system. The first step is to connect to an access point. The initial connection screen displays a list of active access points on your network. You can select one of these or enter the IP address and default ports in the boxes below, then select Connect. After successfully connecting to a new access point, a dialog box appears showing that master mode is not set for the following radios. This means that the AP radios have not yet been started and is also indicated by the red radio names at the bottom of the Traffic.2 screen. Select X for your radios, then turn them on with the button below. Traffic.2 will indicate that the AP radios have been started. Select Yes to confirm that you are saving these settings to the AP's flash memory. The names of active AP radios will now appear black at the bottom of the Traffic.2 screen. The active device tray will populate with wireless vehicle detection system devices. Select a device and its configuration screen will appear to the right. Now that we've activated the Wireless Vehicle Detection System devices, select the Map Image and Info icon in the upper left corner of Traffic.2 to begin site configuration. Fill in the boxes for the site name and an abbreviation of up to seven characters. As you make changes to the site, notice that the background of the configuration page turns yellow. Select Apply to activate these changes locally to the application. Select the yellow Save button at the top of the Traffic.2 menu to validate these changes and save them permanently to the AP flash memory. Next, upload one of the background images from the Traffic.2 library. Or you can upload one of your own images in a common unlicensed format such as JPEG, PNG, or Bitmap.